All right. So we want to go to the tower and whatnot. Boom. Let's do this. I have arrived at the Citadel Tower. What's up, Captain? Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who that is? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. I bet they're going to make the it's same different. mistake again. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Uh, I believe you are incorrect. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. in what the hell, a dude? Fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies, or it could trigger a war with the terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Uh, send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I am ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Yeah, see? See, buddy? Yeah. Thought so. Head nod indeed. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Oh, Spectre. shit. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Sick! Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Okay. Edison, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I'm super cool now. How do you like that? 
bastard didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. <sighs> Damn, it feels good to be a specter. Let's go do the thing at the thing, huh? Shall we? Oh, I can go right to CSEC. Hell yeah. That is just like the bombest loading screen they could have come up with. Excellent work, everybody. Hello. One sec. Looking you up. It's me, Specter Lady. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance Military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How do you I know? I don't know who I am. I'm the CSEC Requisitions Officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Yes. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Thanks, bro. Ooh. It costs 313,000 uh, coin arenos. Oh, boy. What exactly am I supposed to be able to afford from this shit? Okay, these are less ridiculous. I still don't have that much coin. All right. And I have no more money. What am I, what am I doing here? What am I trying to do? Oh, I have to speak to the ambassador. The ambassador. God, what a loading screen. You love to see it, chat. Central elevator and CSEC. This one? In other elevator news, to docking bay. Corp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Well, that's not good. Or maybe it's fine. Oh, hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I'm here. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. Force? This Retirement? Isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. Yeah. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. Saren will pay. Saren's not going to get away this time. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got us Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I got you, buddy. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's kind of your care gig. Of Saren. You take care of the political fallout. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I yeah, have a yeah, to yeah. Get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Honestly, why would you not play Fem Shepard? battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. This feels wrong. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. I need to be honest. It's my way. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. 
Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. Ah, uh, humanity has to do its part. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I just yorped into existence. It's fine. It's fine. Just checking. Just looking at stuff. Just, just having a smell. You know, it's fine. Uh, where does this go? Just down, right? Okay. What's up, Garrus? How you doing, bro? Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with the Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Hey, Rex. You're kind of fun. Nice ship you've got, Shepard. Thanks, bro. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Okay, cool. You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. That's cool, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. Why not? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? Mm, I no. it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. So touchy. I was making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth, and most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Why not? Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. All right. Bye. That's good talk, buddy. Kind of kind of got a whole gloomy situation going on here, huh? Whew. Lots of lore and talking going on. Let's do a space mission, shall we? Bridge time. Let's do some space stuff. Let's go get... Yep, let's go, baby. Oh my god, I forgot there's so many planets and stuff. Let's try Theorem. Distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. Let's go, baby. Investigation time. What a vehicle. I love this thing. You know, chat? Oh, hey. Uh, currently no problems happening right now. Seems fine. This seems like a good place to go. Holy Jesus. This thing drives like a terrible mistake. Oh, oh, got him. How, how do I go on foot? It hasn't told me at all how to go on foot. That was not, uh, that was not specified at all. Ow. Ow. 
Stop that. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, driving mechanics in this. But we'll survive. Good thing you guys don't shoot back or anything. This would be such a pain in the ass if you guys knew how to fight back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. all right. <laughs> uh, that's a good way to do a lot of damage, I guess. Um, 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 um. That's not sprint. It's still weird to me that that's not sprint. Why can't I get into the? There we go. Never mind. <laughs> get me into the cover, please. There we go. You're not dead. Oh, you have a shield now. I can't use my weapon because God hates me. What is my, why isn't my team here? What happened? Maybe this will bring my team back with me. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Uh oh. Hi. Very jumpy aroundy. Oh, hi. You're big, big boy. Oh my God. Rex just died? Is that allowed? Okay, I got my specter thing that gives me revive. Unity, baby. Cast it. And then health. Garrus, you go over there. And I'm going to cast a barrier on myself so I don't freaking get one shot by this dumb piece of shit. Everyone's alive. Everything is fine. Now taking this position so I can finish off the little ads. Oh, please stop. There we go. Garrus just died so much. God, that was annoying. Oh no, it's a black abyss in there. Uh, hello? Oh, hi. Could somebody help me? You seem to be in some amount of trouble. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Dr. Tissoni? I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Uh, how? There's some kind of repulsion field in the way. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Uh... Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Venezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. All right. I'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. All right, I'm assuming this is not just going to be some easy peasy thing. Okay. See ya. Now that's what combat needs to feel like. That was fine. Mining laser controls, enter code. Oh boy. Oh, hey, we just go over here. Uh, hi. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. 
it was easy, baby. The mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before Morgath arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Uh. Oh, hello, Liara. How you doing? I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know... We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Uh, we need a plan. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. This is some serious Halo vibes right here. Oh, hey, how you doing? What's up, big green guy whose name I don't remember, but who I totally remember? Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Uh, what do you want? Is there a reason you're in my way? The same reason you're here. The Asari. Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Not giving her up. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. I like how he swapped out for his uh his geth buddy he was getting low on health and he was like oh gotta change over okay almost died a little bit it's fine Uh oh. No time to wait. We gotta go. This is a terrible, horrible place we're living. We're we're hanging out at right Too now. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Uh, that's it's how he copes. Mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the Conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. 
And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. It's a long cutscene, chat. I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Join the team. Thank you, Commander. Join the team. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? No. Don't bother. Aye, aye, ma'am. Oh my god. Okay. Is the cutscene, the longest cutscene in the history of cutscenes over?